good. Hey everyone, Sewer Round Table Review. And so we are going to talk about chain knockers. So come on in close. So first off, we have Rigid, Rensi, Picot, and Sewery. Okay, now I had an earlier video, I don't even know if I still have it online yet. Sewery and Rensi were pretty much the same thing. Okay, and then Sewery, you know, you could see these chains and even Rensi is starting to say it's new. But this is the stuff that Picote was using. And so I don't know if they're just, everyone's kind of going all around in circles with carbide. But here's something I'd like you to see. So these chains are from Rigid. And the cost on this is roughly, I want to say about $80. Okay, I'm going off memory, but I think these are about $80. Now, if you notice, okay, how the screw protrudes out from the body. The reason why this is an issue is because when you're using this, especially in greasy lines, number one, it cakes into the Allen screws, and so you can't, it, it, it just, it get, becomes a pain to go ahead and do anything with. Second thing is this will wear down, okay? The other thing is now you have less meat for the threads to engage in the body. This is for the exact same one. Both of these go on the same size shaft made by in fact the same company so in fact rigid is made by Rensi. okay i don't know if we're going to be able to to zoom in okay are you able to zoom in on that already in oh you, can you see that yep you can yep oh that must be a really good camera okay but so this is actually made by hold on one second here this is made uh there we go This is made by Rensi. I want to make sure that I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't losing it. So now, so if you buy a Rensi product that is trademarked and sold under Rigid's name, you actually get something that is lower quality than if you were to buy something that is a Rensi product trademark under their own name. Now, where do you find the Rensi product? Um, Source One Environmental. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Nope. Source One is now selling Picot. Um, Pipeline supply. And I buy anything Rensi, I buy it through Pipelining Supply of Illinois. Um, I just like that branch, and but that's where I go. So now, okay, so when you buy this, you're actually paying more for, in my opinion, lower quality than if you buy this. Now, here's the next thing about the process. Is, is that, um, these are just not very well made. Rensi, they get the job done and just not very well made. You can see the welding on here, extremely poor. It would not have been difficult to add another bead in there, okay? And sometimes I've even had these break off, okay? However, it gets the job done. At Rensi prices, I can deal with it because usually they're about 35 to 40. They're usually about 30 to 40 dollars for Rensi. Okay. At Ridge's cost of let's say 90 dollars, uh, that thing better work a little bit better than it has. It better have a little bit better quality. Now, let's look at Picot. Okay, stainless steel, and so I wanted to compare this. So this way it's apples to apples. So this way you could say smooth chain to smooth chain. <coughs> Excuse me, coronavirus probably got me. But you could actually see the difference in the quality. You could see the difference in the welding. Okay. You could see how thick both of those are. You could see how thick the Picot is and how much meat there is. So you to firmly tighten that down so you don't lose a chain knocker. Now, which one of these is more expensive? Is it the Rigid or is it the Picot? Well, the answer is what's more expensive is the Rigid. These Picot chains are actually cheaper and these, I'm 100% sure, can be bought through Source One Environmental. That's where I actually, <laughs> that's where I bought my chains. So what I went in, and then really going back, 
So Rigid has, so this one's a sewery, and what I want to do is I just want to show this part right here. Is, is that um, you can see, hold on one second here, give me one quick second. Don't hit pause quite yet. Okay, so they have a chain that they call a penetrator. Um, and it has this carbide like this. Now, what I've seen is for this, for drain cleaning, this carbide is not good because essentially what happens is if anyone's ever used a clog chopper and you've seen how the flutes get clogged with grease, well, these do the same thing. If you're going through urinal salts, this works, this works fantastic. But for regular drain cleaning, these don't work very well. Okay, and so I use them. I'm a big advocate for them, but there's a certain time that I use them. I do not use these kind of heads for drain cleaning. So, here's what I do use. I use this one for drain cleaning. Very simple. It's got the two wings right there. It cuts through. It creates a channel for the head. Now, where do I get this magical thing? I get that this is a Rensi product and I buy it from um, Pipelining Supply of Illinois, okay? And they come in all different sizes. Um, in any case, so next time you have to buy some chain knockers, and there's some new ones out there. Pocote has their Tiger chain, which I understand has been out for a while. Um, Bolden used to sell that, and now Pocote's got it. And that looks like it'll really do the job. Um, but there's all kind of these chains. Personally, what I found for regular drain cleaning, if you're, you're, if you got carbide here, you're gonna be doing just fine. But to penetrate, you want something like this, not something like this, and you sure don't want something like this because then I just think that we're paying too much and we're just buying it for the rigid name. Anyway, hey, Ben, Sewer Round Table Review signing out. Thanks a lot for watching and Leave your comments and have a great day.